building in Fukushima. The water contains 10 million. It's 8 p.m. on a Sunday night. Welcome to this hour's Newsline. I'm James Tengon in Tokyo. Exceedingly high levels of radioactive substances have been detected in puddles of water in the number two reactor's turbine building in Fukushima. The water contains 10 million times the usual level of radioactivity inside the operating nuclear reactor. The restoration of cooling systems may now be delayed due to the excessive levels of radioactivity. Lights were turned on in the central control of the number two reactor yesterday evening for the first time in about two weeks. But very high levels of radioactive substances have been detected in the turbine building of the number two reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company analyzed a water sample taken from puddles on the basement floor. The official of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the surface of the water showed levels of radioactivity higher than 1,000 millisieverts on March 26th in the turbine building of the number two reactor. This official from Tokyo Electric Power Company says the levels of radioactivity exceeded the upper reading limit of the gauge. The sample water indicated 2.9 billion becquerels of radioactivity, which is about 10 million times the usual levels of an operating nuclear reactor. It is about 1,000 times that of water on the floors of the turbine buildings of the number one and number three reactors. The substances include iodine-134, iodine-131, and cesium-134, which are usually generated during nuclear fission inside a reactor. The substances associated with the number two reactor indicated high levels of radioactivity, although the plant halted operations a half month ago. Professor Naoto Sekimura of Tokyo University Graduate School says he assumes that radioactive substances leak from damaged fuel rods and were dissolved in the water inside the pressure container. He says he thinks the radioactive water seeped outside the container and caused a serious problem. He says radioactive levels are currently too high for workers to stay. Professor Sekimura also said immediate efforts must be made to determine how the radioactive substances leak from the reactor. Suppression chambers are connected to the container of the reactor. An explosion in a suppression chamber on March 15th may have partially destroyed the containment functions of the suppression chamber of the number two reactor. Tokyo Electric said they cannot deny that high levels of radioactivity are related to the malfunctioning suppression chamber, but they don't know exactly what has happened. The company said the current data doesn't indicate that a massive amount of radioactive substances is leaking from the reactor. More than 1,850 times the government safety standard for iodine-131 was detected in a water sample taken from the sea 330 meters from the water discharge point of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The radioactive levels exceeded 1,000 times the standards at the same point for two consecutive days. High levels of radioactivity may cause delays in the restoration process of cooling systems. Earlier, NHK senior commentator Noriyuki Mizuno gave us his analysis of the current situation at the nuclear power plant. So, in the puddle of the number two reactor, a radiation, which is 10 million times the radiation reading was detected. And the reading is 1,000 millisievert per hour. What is the danger? Well, it is very, very dangerous. I think that value is very high. And according to TEPCO's explanation, this is uh, above 1,000 millisievert. We don't know exact uh, value. And now uh, the person who was in charge, who went to uh, gauge the radiation there, did not expect such a high level, so the dosimeter scaled out. And he could have reset the dosimeter and scaled again, but because the radiation was so high, he left the area. So it is very high, and so we don't know exactly how many sievelt it was, but if 3,000 sievelts, millisieverts, is exposed to a person, 
then eventually half of the people would die. So this time we don't know whether it was 3,000 millisievert, and well, and also this is per hour value, even if it is 1,000 millisievert. So it will not immediately kill people. However, even for measurement of radiation would require caution. And why is the radioactive reading so high in the water? Well, uh, the n nuclear rod, fuel rod, is being damaged. That's the only answer we could think of. Usually there is a fuel rod inside the reactor, and the water surrounding it is in contact with the fuel rod. So to a certain extent, um, radiation is included. But when we think about from overall um, readings or level of concentration of the radiation, it's very small. In most of uh, the radioactive substances are confined in the nuclear fuel. 99.9% .9 or over the nuclear uh, radi radioactive substances are confined in these fuel rods. This uh, radioactive iodine and cesium are actually confined in these fuel rods. But these substances were found from water, and that means that coolant function had been lost and the rods were exposed and uh, it was damaged and the damage had proceeded so that the radioactive substances had seeped out and that water could have seeped out into the turbine building. Now, to what extent is the damage is the question. But by looking into the radiation level, according to TEPCO, they say that the damage of the fuel could be from several percent to several tens of percentage. It is quite a wide reading, but if it is uh, damage in, in uh, several tons of percentage, it would mean that a large amount of radioactive substances have been leaked into water. Now, where is this uh, leakage happening? Well, that is not clear. The nuclear reactor itself has pressures inside, so it, the reactor itself is not damaged, we believe. But from the reactor, there are lots of pipes and in the pipes there are valves and there are pumps as well. So because of the earthquake and also the aftershock, there has been lots of jolts and because of that the valve may loosen and maybe there has cracks in the pipe and uh, the, the leaks may be occurring there. And the, the number two reactor has the suppression pool or the suppression chamber uh, where there is a pool of water and that also could be damaged. And in the suppression pool, the steam from the reactor is re, has, is re, re, touches there. So if there could be that the water from the reactor is leaking from that suppression room. So TEPCO is now checking on where the leak had taken place, but because the radiation level is so high, it might take time to identify the place. Is there any measures to prevent this, deal with this? Well, the radiation level is very high, and the question is how to suck these water out. Now, uh, this, is, this includes, contains a high level of radioactive substances, so we can, they cannot, of course, let this water out in the air. So TEPCO is saying that the, um, the condenser tank is, which is in the turbine building could be a tank that could contain these water. This condenser tank is a device to cool steam that rotated tum, uh, the turbine generator and returning it to water. And it could, they could confine water there. So in this tank, they're thinking about putting the water contaminated with radioactive substances and they're making preparation for that. However, the radiation level is very high. So we don't have any information that they have started that operation. Then the restoration process could be delayed, right? Well, yes, there has been an impact, a, a negative effect to the operation, and we believe that the, the effect will linger on.